Hi everybody, this is Matthew Kinslow, and this is, well, another random video. Um, again, I like making these, but this is the least um, favorite of the videos uh, that I make because I like videos that encourage people or, or motivate people. And this is just an, another one of those videos where I just want to reflect on a personal memory that was, you know, special to me. And it was 10 years ago today, on May 1st, 2010, and this is the actual journal uh, from that uh, day. So, minus a few spelling errors, <laughs> um, on this day, 10 years ago, a decade ago, uh, my grandfather and I woke up very early in the morning, maybe 5-ish, 5.30, and we, um, he made peanut butter jelly sandwiches, I just got ready. And we drove all the way down to Santa Ana to the church. We met a lot of people over there. And then we all uh, went to the OC Civic Center from the church. And at the OC Civic Center, if you haven't been there, there are tons and tons and tons of homeless people. And I think this is my grandfather's first, or no, it was his second, third, or maybe fourth time doing it. And he told stories about it and how much he loved it. And I wanted to go to and help out and part of feeding the homeless was also to evangelize them if they are willing to talk to us about that and I always loved evangelism in fact if you if you uh, have my book by any chance uh, juggling the issues living with Asperger syndrome uh, ch uh, chapter 9 is my zeal to evangelize and I talk all about it about my zeal how I got started and I also talk about uh, feeding the homeless, um, the ministry that uh, they did um, at California Victory Church. Um, and I did so for like over a year at least, almost every month, if not every month. And I loved it until one day they just stopped doing it. But I will never forget, you know, I was a freshman in high school and it lasted till probably when I was a junior in high school. So for quite a long time and it, it was the highlight of my month it was every first Saturday of the month very early in the morning and then as we left another church came uh, to feed them and, and preach to them if they wanted to listen uh, we feed them regardless and, and you know they stand in line we have coffee and sometimes we a uh, person comes and makes something special and my grandpa he makes like probably a hundred or maybe fifty peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and um, we just go over there and you know it's a very moving uh, experience to see people who are I mean legitimately homeless I mean it's a really moving experience uh, to to see that and then to reflect and think and, and yet a lot of them were optimistic a lot of them had smiles and such it, it, it really stops me in in my tracks it, it could stop anybody in their tracks to to see people who are who are, are who are just homeless I mean yeah, it may make you reflect of how, you know, fortunate, quote-unquote, that you are, but, but still, I mean, it, it really gets to a person sometimes. And, you know, I, I just hope and pray that one day this whole situation would, uh, would just be, um, would just end. And, you know, I think it runs in the family of, you know, our heart for um, our sympathy, our empathy for people who have homeless, uh, or who are homeless. And... I remember being in uh, downtown Los Angeles uh, for the first time on July 30th, 2017, and we were driving around um, downtown area by the U.S. Bank Tower, somewhere around there, and um, uh, all of a sudden, I mean, we're driving, and I was oblivious to something, and my mom almost started to cry, um, and she had her, um, her mouth, no, her hand over her mouth, and really looked, you know, tearful, and I'm like, we're like, what's going on and and she said that she saw a, a homeless person just sleeping on the sidewalk and you know the the heart that, that a lot of people have especially my mom that that really goes out very it, it's sad to to see you know like like you know the people who are homeless just like making a bed anywhere even if it's cement and and all that on on a sidewalk so that so um, I guess you have to be you know ready for it before you go out and feed the homeless like we did and such like in your heart and your in your mind and, and uh, just continue to pray and be there I mean what we've done is we we've prayed with them we evangelized them we handed out tracks and 
and um, I've also had run-ins with, well not run-ins, but I, I've had, you know, um, some encounters where, well, they just didn't want to hear me. Uh, they didn't want to hear anybody. I'm sure they were appreciative, but they just didn't want to hear anything about the gospel, and you know that's okay. Um, a lot of people who know me and know a lot of people is that the decision is yours, and we don't proselytize or impose our faith on them, and you could always ask us any questions that you may have at any time. Um, we're just here to, 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 you know, give you encouragement and, and to feed you, and if you want to listen, um, that's fine. If you don't, we're going to pray for you, and um, regardless, and, and just, and again, the decision is yours. <laughs> and But to reflect specifically 10 years ago today, to tell you the truth, my grandpa said that he was, um, he was feeding the homeless and evangelizing them with the church, and I thought that it was some shelter. I, I thought it was some, something indoors. And then we approach there, and we're driving up um, on the other side of the Civic Center, and my grandpa said, there's one now, and I look over, and off in the distance, there's a homeless person sleeping on this, like, statue formation, um, or resting there. And we pull around, and, you know, there's tons and tons and tons of people just there in the open um, who are homeless. And I, I'm like, I didn't know that it was outside that they sleep outside and such. I mean, I, I know that homeless people, a lot of people uh, do that, but I, I thought that the church went to a shelter, so, um, but no, it was, you know, outside, so. Um, so, yeah, my heart goes out for uh, people like that, and in fact, anybody like that. And so, um, it was a great time, uh, you know, we, we fed them, we evangelized them for maybe one to two hours or hour and a half or or, an, or, or some time like that. And um, I remember there was one uh, person over there on the first um, first time over there. And, you know, he, um, he told me some oxymorons and, you know, it was a good conversation. Like, like usually we just have a conversation with them and evangelize them and, and, and such. And, um, and, you know, just to be with them and to talk with them. Um, a lot of them spoke s just Spanish and I didn't know Spanish. I said, hola como esta, uh, one day. And uh, they smiled and started to speak Spanish to me at 100 miles an hour. I'm like, no hablo espanol, if I knew how to say that back then. But um, but yeah, th and sometimes that's hard for, for me sometimes. Like I just can't communicate with them all the time, uh, or not to everybody that is. Um, but anyway, on this day, there, there's like a, a tall man over there that, um, you know, told me some neat um, oxymorons. Like, why do people park in a driveway and drive in a parkway? And it's a wonder why they put expiration dates on sour cream if it's already sour and such. And so I, I just had like a good time there and, and such. I mean, the whole experience was a good time and I enjoyed it. And let's, um, but this man just didn't want to hear anything about the gospel. and. If you know me and my evangelistic heart and such, I mean, I, I, I don't impose my faith, and but I just wanted to just try one more time, and I offered like a tract uh, to him, and he smiled and put out his hand and said, I told you before, I don't want to talk about that right now. And I'm like, okay, I have to accept that. And, and really, that's how real true Christians need to be, um, is just don't impose um, faith uh, like that, just, you know, uh, just be a friend and the decision is theirs and, and just whenever they're ready and it has to be when they're ready. So that's my experience one decade ago today and I just thought I'd uh, share this um, on YouTube. I just like to share whatever I can to share and, and help people. So anyway, wherever you're at, wherever uh, or whatever time you're watching this, morning, noon, night, midnight, uh, just be blessed wherever you're at and have a great day.